Hello, my name is Robin Monotti Grazia Dei, and uh, my grandfather was the first president of the Council of Bars and Law Societies of Europe. I am standing here in front of the UK National Commission for UNESCO because I would like to ask a question about the UNESCO Universal Declaration of Bioethics and Human Rights 2005, specifically about Article 6, which clearly states that any preventive diagnostic or therapeutical medical intervention requires informed consent. And if anybody chooses by their own free will to not give this informed consent, then they are not allowed to suffer any disadvantage or prejudice in any shape or form. Under something called Plan B, there is a requirement to wear a preventive medical device or intervention like a face mask. Now, this can only be freely consented by the subject because it falls under Article 6. It's the same case with the so-called vaccine passports. If you say that you cannot enter a particular place because you don't have a vaccine passport, you are effectively creating a disadvantage and prejudice to that person. Therefore, the, the argument here is that these measures are in violation of our fundamental and universal human rights, which we have set in stone after World War II. Therefore, I urge the UNESCO to answer my question, has there been a violation of our universal and fundamental human rights? And if this violation was organized at a level of parliament, does this constitute a crime against humanity? Thank you.